If you've got an Nvidia card, I got some great news for you, and it looks like Nvidia is going to be releasing one new graphics card that, at least according to the rumors, is going to have some pretty great supply. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 35% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal and once the payment is cleared you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10 just search activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more be sure to click the link in the description below. Alright we have just a ton of news to go over today and in fact this entire week there's going to be just a ton of news so if you aren't subscribed already I highly suggest you do so in 2022 like I've been mentioning is looking to be a much better year than 2021 for a number of reasons and tech news looks to be one of those reasons. But in any case, let's go ahead and get into this first story because NVIDIA just released a new driver 511.23 that has just a ton of new features for NVIDIA users that I think you guys are really gonna like. I mean, this is an absolutely huge driver. It, it's probably the biggest update that I've seen NVIDIA roll out possibly ever, but according to NVIDIA's own post over on their website, here's what they had to say about their two biggest features which are going to be coming out with this new driver that you can actually download right now, and I'll go ahead and have that linked in the description below. So according to NVIDIA, they say, quote, our latest game-ready driver adds DLDSR, Deep Learning Dynamic Super Resolution, an AI-powered enhancement of NVIDIA DSR which renders a game at a higher, more detailed resolution before intelligently shrinking the result back down to the resolution of your monitor. This downsampling method improves image quality by enhancing detail, smoothing edges, and reducing shimmering. DLDSR improves upon DSR by adding an AI network that requires fewer input pixels, making the image quality of DLDSR 2.25x comparable to that of DSR 4x but with higher performance. DLDSR works in most games on GeForce RTX GPUs thanks to their tensor cores. And as you can see here, they do actually have an image you can go ahead and look look at and this is some super exciting stuff guys because honestly this is kind of what I was hoping to see out of just a regular DLSS but hey at least we're getting it with some sort of downsampling uh, rather than upscaling I'd rather see it in upscaling but again at least we're getting something like this and this is just an absolutely huge feature because if you're someone who's using maybe a 1080p or 1440p display and you're not quite ready to pull the trigger on a new display or you're just trying to get the best screenshots possible on whatever display you have you now have a very easy way of getting a much better looking image but still being able to appreciate uh, the best resolution that your monitor can handle you know for example I might use this if I was say using a 1440p display but the specific game that I was playing had just way too much aliasing around the edges I might then go ahead and downsample from something like 4k if I have the extra GPU horsepower to do so and then bring it down to my 1440p display so therefore you're still getting that 1440p image I mean that is gonna be a limiting factor but the image that's getting put on to that 4 1440p display is going to be much higher quality. So yeah, I think this is a huge deal and I'm very excited to go ahead and check this one out. And again, if you want to check it out, be sure to click that link in the description below. But now let's go ahead and move on to the second piece of news in regards to this driver. And that's apparently that they're going to be introducing some new graphics effects that you can enable using the GeForce experience. And this is a pretty huge deal. And here's what Nvidia had to say about it. Quote, we've worked with the modding community and teamed up with Pascal Glitcher, a popular reshape shade author to release three advanced depth-based freestyle filters, SSAO, Dynamic Depth of Field, and SSRTGI, a modified version of his popular ray tracing reshade filter. These depth-based filters are accessible by pressing Alt plus F3 during gameplay when GeForce Experience's in-game overlay is enabled in the app's settings menu. And to me, this is another absolutely huge deal because, again, these are some other effects that are very valuable to PC gamers when they're looking to mod their games and to have it easily accessible just through the NVIDIA GeForce experience is an absolutely huge deal to me and especially seeing that global illumination ray traced effect I think is it just it's awesome to see that NVIDIA is going ahead and implementing this stuff into their driver support and into the GeForce experience because this is just going to make it so that if you're running a slightly older game and maybe the shadows aren't quite as good as you would want you can go ahead and just enable these effects and boom as they show in the images uh, that I should be showing you right now you can 
see that there's going to be a massive improvement in the shading in the game. So again, here's another huge thing that's coming out with this driver. And once again, if you want to download this driver, I highly suggest you do so. Link in the description below. But in any case, now let's go ahead and move on to the second piece of news in this video. And that's that apparently NVIDIA is going to be releasing an RTX 3050, which I think we already knew that. But it's also supposedly, according to rumors, going to have much better supply than the RTX 3060 and the RTX 3060 Ti. Now, this information apparently comes from board channels. I got this over on videocards.com. So I will have a link to that in the description below if you want to read all of the details. But yes, the RTX 3050 is going to be coming out. And if it actually does end up having greater supply than the 3060 Ti and 3060, well, then I can expect that the 3050 might be the strongest supply GPU in the entire section that NVIDIA's released so far. And that's going to be very good news for gamers as finally you might actually have an option instead of, you know, trying to buy an RTX 3060 for way more than you really want to. I think a lot of entry level gamers are going to be very excited by this piece of news. And honestly, guys, I think this is starting to come into fruition because it looks like Ethereum mining is starting to die down. Prices are dropping significantly over on eBay. It seems like every single day they are dropping by significant margins as people are seeing the looming proof of stake as well as decreasing profits day by day, meaning that I think NVIDIA is also seeing this and deciding, hey, we better start upping our efforts into getting these entry-level gamers some sort of card in their hands so that they're not trying to buy stuff on the second-hand market. So this is definitely good news. Now, if you're wondering, the RTX 3050 apparently is going to have 2,560 shaders, 8 gigabytes of G6 at 14 gigabits per second on 128-bit bus for a total memory bandwidth of 224 gigabytes per second, and apparently it's going to have a TDP of 130 watts, and will be available at about $250. Now, of course, when this thing launches, it's probably not going to actually be purchasable at $250, especially considering that it has enough VRAM to be used for mining, but as I mentioned earlier, as Ethereum mining continues to become less and less profitable, I actually do expect the RTX 3050 to be purchasable at $250 at some point in 2022. Now, I could be wrong. Things could get worse. You know, anything can happen. But realistically, guys, I actually do expect that you finally will be able to purchase an entry-level card at some point this year for a reasonable price. So I'm glad they're bringing this thing out. And overall, there's just been a ton of good news this week. And there's a ton of more good news that I have to bring to you guys. So once again, uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure you are. But hey, that's all I have for this video. And thank you guys for watching. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that NVIDIA is actually going to be able to supply enough RTX 3050s or will be nowhere near enough? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.